Hey there, it's Holly, the Twister Sister, back again with another free balloon animal tutorial just for you guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cute and adorable lion. So in last week's video, we did a tiger and you guys seem to really enjoy that video. I mean, we've got sent in tons of pictures all over Facebook. I really enjoy seeing all the pictures, so thanks for posting those and sharing them with me and the rest of the balloon twisting community. Really appreciate it. And so I hope that you guys enjoy this video just as much. We're kind of doing the cat theme lately. So we got the tiger, we're gonna do a lion today, and next week will probably be the house cat. So a couple different ways to do different types of cats. They're all very similar with just slight little modifications. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be at the Bling Bling Jam at the end of this month. If you don't know what that is, it's like a balloon convention. Uh, it's called a jam, but they've got classes. All kinds of amazing teachers are gonna be there uh, just jamming with other balloon artists, bouncing ideas off each other. And I'm sure if you go, you're going to learn a ton ton of awesome information, meet some of the best balloon artists in the entire world. Um, I'm pretty sure that there are still some slots open, so if you're not registered yet, go on over to the Bling Bling Jam's website, which I will post in the description below, and uh, sign up and register, and then maybe I can meet you in person. So now on to today's video. Let's get started with our lion. So this one takes just a few more balloons than the tiger, it's a little more complicated but not too much. So we're gonna need two yellow 260s. We're gonna need an orange 260 and a white 260. And then a scrap, I've got a scrap of mocha brown here for the nose. Now I'm gonna draw the eyes on this one. If you wanna do balloon eyes on the lion, like the tiger, you can do that. It looks great. I did one with some gold eyes. It looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to draw the eyes on in case you're at a busy event and you don't have time to do the eyes made out of balloons, uh, then here's an option for you that's a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna start with one of my yellow 260s and we're gonna blow this up about six half pumps. I'm not fully extending this, just kind of like halfway. Um, so it's not super accurate, but there's about a three to four inch tail there on the end. Let's make it a little bit soft. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my white one out at the same time here. And we're gonna blow it up the same amount and just tie these two together right off the bat. Okay, now I like on the tiger, or the lion, I'm gonna end up calling this a tiger multiple times in this video. <laughs> on the lion, I like to start off with the nose. So I'm gonna do about a one and a half to, one and a half to two inch bubble here and do another one the same size right beside it and twist those together. Okay, so that's about that. And now we're gonna work on the yellow. So I'm gonna come up about two or three inches here, make a twist. I'm gonna do the first ear, which is just a small loop like the tiger, and just twist that. But you wanna twist this around a good couple times. And even what I like to do is I like to wrap it underneath the balloon two times. And that way, when we're working on the rest of this, the ear is not gonna come untwisted as easily. It could still come untwisted, um, but that will help it Stay like that while we're working on the rest of this. So this is where this is different from the tiger. We're gonna make a small little bubble here right after the ear and then we're going to do the other ear. So another loop like that and I'm gonna wrap it around two times just like the other one to help everything stay in place while we're working on it. Now I'm gonna bring the balloon back down into the nose so we need another bubble same size as this one and just twist that down into the nose there okay so easy peasy so far now I'm going to work on the cheeks so I'm going to do two small loops for the cheeks out of white so there's one and two try to get them the same size and just position them on either side of his face so we've got that so far no, it's not. There we go. Okay, so it's kind of looking like a cat right now or something cute. And uh, now we're going to do the top part over the head. So I'm going to squeeze my yellow balloon out nice and soft and squishy. Bring it up over the head and down into the nose. Twist it all together around there. And 
now I'm going to get my yellow coming out the back, my white going straight down. Alright, so this is what we have now. This could also be the start of a really cute bear or chickmunk. All kinds of stuff you can kind of do with this base design here. So go crazy with it and show me what you come up with. Alright, so I've got the head started here. I like to do the mane at this point. It seems like it's a little bit easier to do the mane in this step instead of waiting until you have the legs and the feet and everything because then there's just a bunch going on right here at our neck joint area. So I'm going to grab the orange T60 to do the mane with and I'm just going to blow that up about four pumps here. You want this one to be really nice and soft because we're going to be a little brutal with it. And tie that off. And now I like to start off the mane in the back of the head. So I'm just going to take my nozzle here and twist it around the base of the head to lock it in there. And I'm going to take it up the back of the head and just twist it up into this ear here on the side. Just around once. You don't need to go around a bunch of times. Just once was, is enough to secure it. And then we're going to go over this yellow balloon here over it and twist it right into the other ear just once around so that's what it looks like from the front and now on the back we're going to go back down into the cheek so make a bubble and twist your balloon around that cheek okay so that's what it looks like in the back got a nice little triangle thing going on but from the front, you can't really see his mane yet. So we want to go across the head one more time, but we're going to have the balloon coming up the sides instead of the back. Um, that way we'll really be able to see the mane. So we're going to measure kind of how far it needs to go to be up into the ear, or just go ahead and twist it right in there. I like to make my twist first and then twist it into the ear. Just my preference. We're going to squeeze our balloon out and we're going to take it across and over to the next ear. And then we're going to come down the other side. And this one's definitely easier if you measure it, twist it first, and then twist it into the cheek. So now we've got that. We can see his mane. It's definitely looking like a lion at this point. And we can get rid of the rest of the orange one. It's a loud lion. I'm just going to twist this around a few things to secure it, keep it from coming undone. Ta-da! How cool is that? Okay. Now, one thing that I do like to do on the lion that I don't usually do on the other cats is I like to give it a little bottom lip. So the way I do that is just with this white one here, I'm going to make a small loop, smaller than the cheeks. And that's just going to sit right here underneath his nose. And for some reason, it looks good on the line. And I think with the mane and everything going on up here, it adds a little bit more stability to keep his head and everything in order. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down for the feet and the tummy area, his paws. So we're going to come down about three or four inches there, make a twist. Now we're going to do two pinch twists in here. We're going to do a round bubble, make that a pinch twist. Do another round bubble and make that a pinch twist. And we don't need the rest of the white balloon, so go ahead and dispose of that. And I'm just going to wrap this around his feet a few times to secure. Okay, now with the rest of our yellow balloon, we can bring that down into the feet and just twist that and then back up into the head. Make a, a twist the same size as this one. And I'm just going to have this little tiny bubble left. And we're going to just twist that up around everything. It's a little tight up in here. That's why you want your balloons to be pretty soft on this one. It's definitely a little more difficult than the tiger. But it's a really cool looking lion. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done with our lion. We just have two balloons left to finish them off. We're going to get our last yellow 260 and blow that up about five or six pumps. I'm just gonna leave about a three or four inch tail there. Whoa! <laughs> Tie that off. 
And what we need to do is kind of get rid of this guy. Now when you're blue, when you just have a bubble like this, I guess you could leave that sticking out there and just tie this in underneath it. I designed to be nice and clean looking though. So I'm just gonna pinch off a little uninflated tip here at the end, make a tiny, tiny cut. And now that's deflated. I'm gonna wrap it around the cheeks a couple times so it doesn't unwind my whole balloon. And I'm gonna stick this yellow balloon right here in the back of the head where that small bubble was. All right, so now we've got a whole bunch of balloon that we can finish off our lion. So we need a back. I'm gonna come out about five or six inches for the back here. We're gonna do two loops for the back legs. So nice big hand width loops. One and two. Okay, now we've gotta to connect to this to the front here. So I'm gonna make about a two to three inch bubble and we're gonna bring it towards the feet, around the feet, squeeze it out, twist it back into the back legs. Now one thing I like to do in the back here is make a pinch twist. So I'm gonna make a small bubble here between the loops and turn that into a nice little pinch twist. Please don't do two pinch twists in this area for obvious reasons. Let's keep it all G-rated. And then with the rest of this balloon, I'm gonna squeeze it out to fill it up to the end, if possible, and make a nice little lion tail. All right, so let's just straighten everything out here. Get his head in the right spot. Ta -da! Okay, now the last step to really finish off our cute little lion it's to give him a nose. This really makes it look like a lion. So I'm just gonna take a mocha scrap, put a little bit of air in there, and I only want it to be as big as I want his nose, so I'm gonna do mine about that big. Tie it off. And just like the tiger nose, we're gonna come from underneath these two white bubbles, bring your nozzle up through, around the front, and then underneath, bring it back behind his head and just kind of wedge it in somewhere, okay? So now this is on here and we want to bring it over the top of our white bubbles, bring the tail, same thing, back behind the head, twist it around once to lock it in place. All right, how's that look? All right, now the last step on this guy would be to tuck the bottom of this white bubble behind these two yellow ones. So we're gonna leave it out here at the top and then at the bottom just kinda wedge it back beneath our yellow ones. So it looks like he's a real proud lion sticking out his chest there. See how that works? Just adds a little detail which really makes this look like a nice, clean, polished design. So there is our cute, adorable, not too difficult lion. Hope you guys like this one. Let me show you the eyes. Get my handy dandy little Sharpie here, I'm going with the clickable ones where you just click this and it comes out the bottom. Makes it faster for line work and crazy fast events. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw just two simple little eyes. I'm shaking, you guys are making me nervous. All right, there we go. And I'm not the best drawler in the world, but I do my little eyes like that, right there on the middle balloon. And some little eyebrows to kind of give them some personality. And three little dots on the side of his nose. Rawr! <laughs> There's our lion. And of course I love this design because it will sit up pretty good on a table. You can also add this to a headband or put a little, uh, a little hair tie thing right here on his feet. And then you can put your hand through there, make it a bracelet for someone so they can wear their lion on their arm. Now I definitely like to do that. Here's a tip for you guys. I've been doing this a lot at line, kind of like line work events that are outside. And you know, as soon as you give a balloon to that five-year-old, it's gonna hit the grass and pop. They waited 30 minutes to get it and it's gonna be gone in less than two. So what I've been doing is buying a lot of these hair ties and even on just regular designs like this or a penguin or anything that I can, 
I'll add this somewhere to it, on the bottom somewhere, so that they can put it on their arm. And I'll just put it on them right after I'm done. And the balloons last a whole lot longer if they are attached to the kid instead of just handing it to the kid and they're gonna drop it, the wind's gonna pick it up and carry it away, it's gonna pop as soon as it touches the grass. So if you can make it wearable, just add a little hair tie to it somewhere where they can attach it to their wrist, parents will really appreciate that because they're the ones waiting in line with grumpy kids in the hot summer heat. Um, and, and the longer you can make your balloons last, the better experience your customers will have and the happier your clients will be. So that's just a little pro tip for you guys. Hope it helps. And that is the lion. We're done. So of course you can add, you can do the eyes differently if you want to do the balloon eyes with the 160s little tiny pupils and stuff. If you don't remember or haven't seen how to do that, check out the tiger video where I go into a lot of detail on how to do eyes with just balloons. You don't have to do any Sharpie art. Um, all you'd have to do is draw little dots on his face for this one, no stripes. So that's the lion. There's the back side view. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy this one. It is a little bit more difficult than the tiger, but I think that the end result is worth it. It's an adorable little lion, and anyone you give this to is just going to be thrilled to death. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for next week. We're gonna be doing the last cat video, and I've got a whole bunch more fun stuff planned. Um, coming up for you guys for the rest of this year. It's gonna be a lot of videos coming at you, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And don't forget to share your photos on Facebook. My Facebook page is down in the description below if you wanna post in there. Or you can go to Balloon Twister Central or Balloons I Learned From YouTube. I'll post links to those Facebook groups down in the description as well. So I'd love to see you guys over there on Facebook to kind of be social and more interactive. Thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next balloon video. Bye!